find things going down the pan. Con Man and I ran five different samples. The first one we ran was from the purple spot, so this is the results. Someone tied this one in a knot. Oh no. Bad. <laughs> I'm gonna file a formal complaint to the management. <laughs> oh wait, we are the management. Are the management. <laughs> Damn it. And then tied a knot on the backside too. They're like, here. And then a third knot. Oh, come on now. Oh, killing me, Smalls. Evil. That's why people cut the bags. Yeah. Perfect, right there. We're good. All right, turn everything on now.
we're at the end of the run for the purple spot and it's not that great. It's a tiny line. We'll get this in the pan, see what it looks like. All right, this is the third sample we've run so far. And finally, something of note, we've got a decent line of sulfides. Hopefully with some gold mixed in. Yeah, we'll see if there's any gold in that sulfide. All right, we run our fourth sample. Not really anything remarkable. Some sulfides. Conman and I ran five different samples. The first one we ran was from the purple spot, so this is the results. Uh, 495 pounds. I'll get a weight on this one. I wanted to show you the other four samples we took. This next sample uh, comes from a location that we call the Hollywood vein, and it was from about 40 pounds. The next sample, close by the Hollywood vein, about the same, about 40 pounds. And then this is another sample from an undisclosed location from about 55 pounds. It was just over 55 pounds. So that's not bad. And then this is another location that we re-ran our cons and some of the crushed ore that had already been run through a sluice and we didn't have a system at the time. And this was from about 75 pounds. Okay, we managed to weasel two more samples out of the system before we were calling it quits for today. So I will pan the number one cons from these two samples. One was 100 pounds, one was 40 pounds, and I'll report back up. All right, here are the results from the last two test runs we did. 100 pounds, and this is from Harry's Mine. And then I did another sample from the same mine, but on top of the mountain in some pit by my, by my claim, and that's from 40 pounds. So now I can kind of compare those two with um, the purple spot. We ran the purple spot 495 pounds. So you see, that's from 495, that's from 100. 495, 40 pounds. And then the undisclosed location that came from about 55 pounds. So this one's probably the best show of gold um, so purple spot. I need to get a weight on this so I can get a uh, you know grams grams per ton But so far I think the winner is gonna be Be this one although Harry's mine does all right, too, but there's a lot of silver in there um, And that'll bring down the grade of the gold and the other issue is sulfides This is how much sulfides I got from the concentrates from essentially 150 pounds 
or 140 pounds. So I ran both of these guys and took the sulfide. So uh, running Harry's mine is going to be a pain um, for sure. So if we can find a place that has good gold, not cut with silver, nice bright gold like this, that's what we're looking for. Purple spot, I don't know. All right, the purple spot. It came out to be 3.6 grains. So for grams, that comes out to be just shy of a gram per ton. That's pretty terrible. 3.6 grains for 495 pounds. All right, results for the secret spot. Comes out to 2.8 grains of gold from 55 pounds. And that comes out to about 6.6 .6 grams per ton. Go from a dirty dish to a clean dish. Right, here's a little BB we just made from all the gold we ran yesterday. 0.745 grams. And I'll get this on the X-Rep and see what the purity is. Uh, I did not clean this gold in nitric before I melted it. And give that a contrast. The last time we did a video we were milling at the mill site, uh, con man and I... We had cleaned the gold in nitric because we are running a dump. And you can see how much brighter that gold is. Uh, it was the total weight before I melted was 2.8. There were a lot of impurities in there still, even after the nitric uh, cleaning of the gold. It's 2.27 grams. So this is, this is what testing gold looks like. Well, I was just about to scan the metal content of this little BB, and when I went to put it on the top of my XRF, there was a hole inside of the, uh, the little cellophane barrier here between the instrument and the outside world, and the dang thing fell inside the uh, XRF, so uh, that was fun trying to get it out. I have to replace the screen with a new one. Yeah, oops. Ah, I thought that was kind of funny. I almost lost my gold inside the XRF.
That would have been a bad thing. Precious metals mode. All right, we've already calibrated. This is a tactical method for me to scan without losing the gold. There's the gold. And this is the mineral content of dirty gold that was not cleaned with nitric. And the one that we did clean with nitric uh, over a month ago. All right. Let's get a view of that. All right, there's the gold. And gold content, 86, silver, 13. So it does help to clean the gold in nitric. And you get better, uh, better clean gold at the end. Then I'll have to smelt, don't have to coupel, uh, but you gotta use nitric and then you have to dispose of the nitric. So everything has its benefits and negatives. Get a neutral flame. I wouldn't call that a bar, it's more like a blob. Get all my gases turned off here. All right, so all of our gold, the last two big test runs we did, or test batches we did, 3.57 grams. We'll get that on the XRF. So final gold weigh from many, many tests mixed together into one little ball of gold, about 20 carats, 85% gold, 13, Silver and a tiny, tiny bit of copper. At least we get something for our test result, right?
19 pounds this is the number one cons let me pan this down and see if there's any gold in it <laughs>
<laughs> Let's see if I can get someone to throw up. Panning. Panning vision. It's kind of weird having that weight on the end of the pan. It makes it kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. The root beer mug. Oh. Not bad. Get those little fine things going down the pan. Yeah, this, this weight's kind of funny. It kind of screws me up. You can adjust. <laughs> Improved panning technique. Attach GoPro to end of pan. The counterweight... Maybe it'll help. The counterweight increases efficiency. So, as clean as it's going to get.
All right, final weight, 419 pounds. Let's see, 93.8 minus the dish, 84.5. Gives me 9.3 grains from 419 pounds. Yeah, do the math, that comes out to about 2.8 grams per ton. Minus impurities. So there you go, 419 pound test from the root beer mine. Now this material was the oversize that we couldn't crush back when our jaw crusher was not running. And we now crushed that in the Keen double roller and got ourselves some gold. Um, this is obviously going to be more efficient using a double roller than our system, but it's just another data point. A damage assessment on these nails after going through the Keen double roller. Um, I guess this is the problem with running dump material. Nails, paper clip, pieces of wood. Like my little drip castle over here? Yeah. Oh. Favorite part. <laughs>